God bless you. God bless you. Uh, this is Faith in Christ Ministries Incorporated with Apostle Barry Glover and Minister William Howard. Welcome you to uh, tonight's broadcast. As you know, we are teaching a series of messages concerning faith. And this is lesson six, I do believe, in the series of messages that we're teaching concerning faith. You know, without faith, it's impossible to please God. The Word of God says, the just shall live by faith. And we walk by faith and not by the way things look. We walk by faith and not by how things appear to our natural vision. We walk by what thus said the Lord about every specific matter in life. Because the Word of God says, acknowledge Him in all your ways. And the way you acknowledge God is you go to God's Word and find out, search and see what God says about your circumstance or your condition. And then you accept that as true and you say it and then you wait for your change. Because change shall come. That's right. Because uh, there's a time uh, for the manifestation of the Word of God that you believe and spoken. Uh, there's a time, appointed time, set time, due season. God determines the, the time of the appearance of the manifestation of His Word. But we should always live in the now, in the present tense of uh, what God said to us is already done. Because now faith is. Faith always abides in the present tense. Praise be to God. Let us pray. Father, we come to you right now in the spirit of Jesus Christ. Lord, we enter your gates. We thank you. We praise you. We magnify you. Lord, we exalt you. All praises belong to you, God, and we do praise you. All glory belongs to you, Lord. We give you the glory. We thank you for the broadcast, television broadcast, broadcast reaching around the world with the good news of the anointed one and his anointing. God, we ask you to save the people today. We ask you to bless them with revelation knowledge from your word. Thank you for prospering your people today. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise be to God. My message tonight is entitled, Change Shall Always Come. That's good news for you. Change shall always come. Change is a part of life. Change is a part of life. Your change shall come. You shall see the change of the circumstances that are in your life. You shall see a change, that's right, of the circumstances and the conditions of your life. Change is a part of life. Change shall always come. You can count on that, friend. That's, that's of a certainty. Your change shall appear for all to see. Change shall always come. Change is a part of life. Your circumstances shall not remain the same. You will open in your Bible to Job chapter 14, verse 14. And it says, If a man die, shall he live again? All the days of my appointed time will I wait till my change come. You see, Job 
excuse me. You see, Job was certain about change. He knew that change was a part of life. He knew that change would come. And he said, all of the days of his appointed time, the owner, he would, would wait. He was willing to wait till his change came. But he knew change would appear. And Job, we know, was looking for and expecting a good change. He was expecting pleasant conditions, restoration of good things in his life. Job, Job chapter 14, verse 14 states, If a man die, shall he live again? Job said, Job said, All the days of my appointed time will I wait till my change come. Praise be to God. Uh, let's turn in Ecclesiastes. Praise be to God. God is always good. There's no doubt about it. Praise be to God. Ecclesiastics chapter 3 says, beginning at verse 1, To everything there is a season. To everything, my friend, there is a season. A season for that thing. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Verse 2. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant a, and a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to get, and a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to cast away, a time to rend, and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak. See, it says in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1, To everything there is a season, and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Verse 8 of Ecclesiastes chapter 3, A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. My message to you tonight, my friends, is about change. Change shall always come. Change is a part of life. Your change shall come. You shall see the change of the circumstances that you are facing, that you have been facing in life. You shall see a change to those circumstances. Your change shall appear for all to see. Change shall always come. Change is a part of life. And there is a set time. An appointed time. 